And as I look out at you, I know how some of you must have felt in 1992. <laughs> but, <laughs> Opportunity and responsibility, they go hand in hand. We can't have one without the other, and our national community can't hold together without both. Uh, I think he's more like us. You know, he's more like the way I would be if I was president. I'd do things at the last moment. I'd be disorganized. I'd fight with my wife, and everybody would be against me. You can ask the farmers in the Middle West who fought the flood there, or the people in California who dealt with floods as you want, because it'll be discussed here in the next He connects something. more readily, I think, on a, me the line on, a, on a regular guy basis than that. Carter appeared to when he was president. Carter has grown in stature since, uh, and Nixon had his problems. So I, I, I think Clinton, uh, Clinton probably is behind only Kennedy and uh, and Reagan in terms of just effectiveness as a speaker in the television era. One of the problems he's got tonight is he's going down the list of the contract, the Republican agenda, and saying, I agree, I agree, I agree. How can you call him the great communicator? He looks tired. He's unsure of himself. He's the same classic Bill Clinton that doesn't know which way is, uh, which way is up. Peace and prosperity. Too many of our people are still working harder. These people. Well, it's because we have so many different kinds of abortion. Yeah, and it was a, well, a nice gung ho America. Everybody, you know, get behind the rally behind the flag type of speech, which is good. We need that. Uh, we need a, a, a speech to try to bring the people together. No, we always, voted in Republicans, nothing. but there's nothing we can do about it to help help this process along. Right. You know, we can scream, we can write letters, but now it's up to the Congress and the President to work together, and we just sit back and watch, which is sad. <laughs>